So now we have, in the previous video we see that we have 13 chords. auxiliary dominance here, which is the are the fifth of the fifth, in this case, well, you know, the fifth of A minor is, the fifth of A minor is E minor, and now we need the fifth of these, so we count five from this, E, F, G, A, B, and then we know that this B7, so B7 is the auxiliary dominant fifth of the fifth in A minor. This is for the Andalusian cadence, and this is the substitute of this, as we explained previously. Then we have also the auxiliary dominant fifth of the four minor, which, well, what is the fourth, the fourth is D, and we need the fourth, the fifth, sorry, of these, therefore we count D, E, F, G, A, and therefore we have A7 as the fifth of the four minor in A minor. So this means that if we, if we play first minor, fifth of the fifth, fifth minor, fifth of the four minor, four minor, four minor of the flat second, fifth seven flat nine, it will sound as follows. Here we go, first minor. auxiliary dominance for the substitutes of the first three degrees and most important for these two which are the chords in between the important chords of flat seven and flat six because after all we have just four chords the difference in jazz as I said before is that you know jazz people study much harmony etc some of them at least who do it who can do it properly some of them just are superficial but people who are serious do study harmony and still don't know this. Why? I cannot play flamenco phrases with Andalusian cadence because this harmony is not just harmony, this is a flamenco harmony. So the flamenco means based on Andalusian cadence, therefore they explain based on, on, on seven chords, right? For instance, modal harmony. Right? So this is seven chords. And here we have just four. And very specific fourth, four chords which does not come from any case. And so therefore, this needs a very tricky, specific, special study. So uh, now we know that we have 13 chords before, plus these two, we have 15 now, 15 chords. With this, we complete the, the four auxiliary dominants of this extended chart, namely. Flat seven, the fifth of the flat six, the fifth of the four minor, and the fifth of the, the, fifth, of the fifth minor. So these four auxiliary dominants here are very useful to create kind of bridges to go, bridge to go to different uh, chords. And with this, we do music. the The real thing will be to analyze all that. Uh, along with the music you play, you can analyze falsettes or, or any music in flamenco. First, we personally prefer to start with some choruses or stilillos of pieces with simple things to, to understand. Also, cante accompaniment. Uh, the modern cante flamenco has a lot of these things, and that's why that is uh, important to know. And in this approach as well, it is 15 chords here of Andalusian cadence, from, from the first four, then the substitutes of these first three degrees, remembering that the 5th, 7th, flat 9 chord has no 
substitution. This is a replaceable chord, and then four auxiliary dominants. <laughs> Yo creo que la música elitista es el refinamiento de la música popular. Por ejemplo, el flamenco. El flamenco originalmente es una música popular, la música del pueblo de Andalucía. Pero creo que ya no le pertenece más al pueblo, porque de pronto habemos gente que nos hemos pasado toda una vida encerrados puliendo esa expresión popular. Entonces ha llegado a un nivel en el que el, que el pueblo ya no, no, no tiene acceso, sobre todo a los matices que vamos consiguiendo la gente como yo, que nos pasamos muchas horas eh, elaborando esa música. 